Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today we're going to check out the FiFind USB microphone. This is a desktop microphone for your laptops and computers. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here it is. This is the FiFind or FiFind microphone. This is a USB microphone. Uh, we'll just take a look around the box a little bit. Doesn't really seem to be much on here. There is a website on there where you can check them out. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead and open this up and take it out and see what comes inside. So we get a, uh, we get first a user manual or user guide here, which is, uh, which is kind of nice to have. So you can uh, learn how to use this thing. So it's pretty basic uh, instructions there. And let's see. Uh, we have a little card here. It looks like a little company card. It looks sort of like a bookmark, which is kind of nice if you're, uh, if you're a reader. And on the back, it's a little thank you message there. So we have that. Um, let's pull this out here. And this is going to be the microphone. And uh, that's all that's in the box. So we'll put that off to the side. And we'll take this off. And here is the microphone. So there we go. Um, that, yeah, that's kind of nice there. So we can see that um, it has this long stem. It's got a little gooseneck there so that we can, uh, we can actually adjust it and get the right angle. Um, right here is actually a mute button. So we can, uh, we can look at that there. See there is a little mute button there. And there's a light here as well that uh, turns on, it looks like, when you plug this in. And then here is where you can adjust. I believe this is going to be the levels so that you can, um, you can adjust the levels to uh, where you need them. So if you are trying to make sure that it's louder or softer then you can adjust that there so that's going to be i, I guess your gain right there so um here is the cable um it seems like it has a fair amount of length to it so um so you can actually put this and then uh you know have it a little bit away from your computer so it seems like there's a fair amount of length to this uh to this cable there so uh that's really nice to see uh but yeah, this is it. It, uh, it seems like it's going to be pretty good. This part down here has a little gooseneck as well so that you can get the right angle, uh, both at the top and the bottom. It has a little wind puff on there uh, that you can take off if you like. And then there is the, uh, the microphone capsule uh, right there. So you can check that out. So uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, we'll put this wind puff back on here. And, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and plug this thing in, test it out, and, uh, and see how it performs. All right, so here we are. I have my uh, microphone hooked up to my computer here, and I'm gonna use my MacBook Pro this time. This does work on Windows. I tested it with my Windows laptop. It works with Windows as well. But let me just show you guys first. Again, there is the gooseneck feature here. So there's a gooseneck feature at the bottom so you can move it up and down or side to side so you can get it into the position that you need it. It's also, it also has a gooseneck on top there so that you can move it side to side and move it around to fine tune it to get it to where you need it there as well. So um, I have it plugged in. Let's go ahead and now hop over onto my computer and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's plugged in and we'll listen and hear how it sounds. Okay, so here we are, I'm on my computer now, and let me show you guys how to get the mic set up. So uh, this is my MacBook Pro, it will work on Windows, I tested it on Windows, it's just a little bit of a difference of how you set it up and your preferences, but I'm gonna go here to my Apple, I'm gonna go to System Preferences, from here I'm gonna go to Sound, and now from Sound I'm gonna click that, and I just wanna make sure that right here where it says USB PNP audio device, I just wanna make sure this one is selected right here. That means I'm actually recording from the FiFine microphone here. So you can see the levels bouncing up and down as I speak when I, uh, when I pause it drops down and when I speak you can see the levels move up so now there's two different ways that you can actually adjust the the, uh, the gain or the volume on your mic uh, the input levels one is to just simply adjust this right here so you'll see where it says input volume you can move this up or down so as I move it down you'll hear that the volume starts to decrease and as I move it back up you'll hear that the volume starts to increase now you can also do this by this dial here on uh, the actual microphone itself I can do the same thing I can start to lower it down and you'll hear that the volume will start to decrease and I can uh, move it back up and you'll hear that the levels will start to increase and I can increase it so much that it actually peaks and is over modulated but I can actually move it back to a nice healthy level there where uh, I sound fairly decent. So 
Uh, yeah, there we go. Now, the interesting thing about this is you can actually use this just to record uh, audio or you can use it to record video. So I'm going to actually go ahead. We'll, we'll move over and actually do a, a quick... Um, quick recording with the webcam and show you guys how you can actually use this microphone and I'm going to unplug this as well and show you guys the differences between using the microphone versus not using the microphone all right so here we are I'm now recording with my webcam so it's a little bit low resolution the MacBook Pros only have 720p webcams but really I want you guys to hear the audio so uh, that's what's most important I actually have the mic just at a frame so you can't actually see it it's right over here I'll just grab it and you'll probably hear that a little bit and just lean it in but you can actually just go ahead and just put that just at a frame if you want just a little bit so that you can't actually see it but it's still close enough that you can actually have it really uh, sound really nice and if you need to boost the audio up a little bit you can turn it up some so that you guys can get that nice crisp clear sound that's loud enough for everybody so um, but yeah this is what it sounds like if you're using the Fifine microphone I'm gonna go ahead now and unplug this and we'll take a listen and see what it sounds like without the microphone all right, so this is recording with the microphone, just the internal microphone of the laptop of my MacBook Pro, and I didn't change anything. All I did was just uh, simply change the the microphone uh, setting so that it's not recording the uh, the FiFind microphone. Instead, it's just recording the uh, the laptop microphone. So that's all that I did. So this is just the MacBook Pro microphone, so you guys can get an idea of what it sounds like uh, one versus the other. So. Uh, there's no distances changed. Everything's exactly the same so that there's uh, try and keep everything equal. But again, this is the laptop microphone. Let's plug the Fifine mic uh, back in or actually let's, let's change the audio input so that I'm actually using the Fifine microphone again. And then uh, you guys can get another taste of it. All right, so there we go again. I am now on the uh, Fifine microphone, and I have it in frame a little bit just so you guys can see it here. So and this is this is a really nice microphone. It actually sounds really pretty nice. Um, it has some really nice features on there, like the uh, the uh, input dial right there, so you can change the gain or the the audio input. It has a mute button on there, so if you're using this for say Skype calls or something else, or uh, or teleconferencing or something, you want to mute it so that you can. Uh, not have your conversation heard on camera you can do that you can do you know it has the gooseneck so you can uh, make some adjustments so that you can actually get it to the right position wherever you want it and it's very easy to use you just simply plug it into your computer and it's plug and play it just really works so yeah that's any that's it there's some really nice features in there and I'm gonna leave a link in the video description so that you guys can check out this microphone and all the other products that uh, that I review on Amazon all right, so there it is. That is a look at the Fifine USB desktop microphone. This is gonna be great for your desktop computers and your laptop computers. It's a really nice way of getting clean audio into your computer. So if you're doing anything like, you know, video calling like with Skype, or if you do, you know, live streaming on Facebook or YouTube, or if you do, you know, just simple, you know, screen recordings and you want to make sure that you have good live audio, good audio, clean audio going into your computer. This is a really nice way of getting that audio in there. So, or even if you do podcasting, this is a really nice way of having a microphone that you can get nice, clean audio into your computer if you're podcasting. So I'm going to leave a link to this product in the video description. I'm also going to leave a link to my Amazon page so you can check out all the products that I've reviewed. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.